This is the first video in a series on setting up a character to use the Human IK system in Maya 2012. So this first video I'm going to cover uh, just what you need to do before you get into the rigging process. Um, so the first thing you need to make sure is you have uh, you know, good edge loops, you have relatively decent topology on your mesh, um, all quads is preferable, although occasionally you'll get um, triangles, but uh, you want to have uh, a good edge loop. Um, in this case, I have this sort of doughy character, so I didn't worry about following um, the lines of muscle or anything like that, but that's definitely a good thing to do if you're doing a, um, like a human character or something else that has like strong shoulders or something like that. Uh, so <clears throat> aside from doing quads, you need to make sure you have enough geometry to make deformations where you want to do. So I need to have at least a couple spans here across the toe where it's going to bend, a couple spans here around the ankle, the knee, the hip, shoulder, elbow, wrist, neck if you have neck, obviously the the uh, stomach, um, these areas that are going to compress. I uh, just need to make sure you have enough geometry. You don't need to have a ton of geometry to make decent deformations, but you can't have one span around the elbow, for instance, because you won't be able to maintain volume. So two is pretty much the minimum. Three would be um, really nice. Um, so um, here I have sort of three spans. This one will hold the volume of the upper arm, this one would hold the volume of uh, the forearm, and this is going to be what I uh, crease on on the inside and what pokes out on the backside to form that elbow. Uh, and I will just try to set that same sort of, sort of thing up on, um, on each joint. Uh, next thing you need to check is uh, make sure you've killed your history. All of this history here is just going to make your um, smooth skin deformations take longer to calculate and in this case I can't use any of these operations anyway so just want to go ahead and clear them out um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do edit delete all by type history um, again you want to do this before you do skinning so uh, it saves you time you can delete non deformer history um, but this is a good uh, workflow just to plan on finishing your model completely and then uh, getting rid of all the history and then adding in um, the smooth skin so this is good. I've got no history now on any of my um, mesh. And then I'll just want to go ahead and group this. So I'll just select those mesh elements, choose group, and then just rename this to um, Buddy Mesh or something like that. That's pretty much it for setup. In the next video, I'm going to go over uh, adding the skeleton and um, making sure it fits the character properly.